OBD result is a cell product that is the result of uh, the expansion of an entire core blood unit, a single core blood unit, where after CD133 positive selection, the positive uh, CD133 positive uh, cells are expanded ex vivo for 21 days in the presence of nicotinamide that uh, allows us to maintain the properties and the capabilities of the stem cells and also to increase in a very large uh, number uh, the, 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 the cells that are in the final product and also uh, to uh, use the T cells that are in this product. So uh, from a single a core blood unit, we are using two different uh, fractions. One is the spans expanded fraction that after selection and, and expansion is cryopreserved. And the negative fraction containing the T cells that is also cryopreserved. Both fractions of the unit are transported to the uh, transplant center and are infused, are thought and infused at the transplant uh, center simultaneously. In, in the end, what we achieve with this is not only to uh, give uh, the patient a very large number of progenitor cells, but also to allow these cells to uh, be enabled to maintain long-term engraftment due to the presence of these uh, T cells. And uh, after sowing in a first one, two clinical trial in patients with hematological malignancies that show a uh, very short uh, hematopoietic engraftment and a long-term engraftment with uh, these cells. And uh, a, a lower uh, use of resource utilization, uh, we have performed a phase three clinical trial was, that was published one year ago. And this randomized uh, clinical trial, omidubisol, was compared to standard core blood transplantation, including the use of one or two core blood units. In the end, omidubisol showed a much greater uh, hematopoietic engraftment in terms of neutrophil engraftment, and the median time to engraftment was 10 versus 21 days for the control arm. In terms of platelet engraftment, that was uh, 34 versus 54. And also in terms of, I would uh, say a very critical uh, point that that is a significantly lower proportion of both bacterial, fungal, and viral infection, and this uh, covered the first one year after the transplant. And finally, omidubisol showed that the time spent in the hospital for the first 100 days after the transplant was much shorter with uh, 30 uh, days in the hospital instead of 55. So, this is a clear advantage of using omidubisol. And this uh, clinical trial was performed uh, at a global level. So uh, this trial not only shows that uh, this ex vivo expanded product was able uh, to benefit the patients, but also that it could be used as a source of hematopoietic stem cells worldwide. And uh, we are now uh, waiting the response of the regulatory authorities to the approval of this new form of cell therapy that we feel could be the standard of care for patients in need of cold blood transplantation.